Now, the spokesperson of UPDF, Afande Felix Klaije, has said a section of Ugandans are using photoshopped images to taint UPDF. Well, in other news, comedian Patrick Salvador and his wife have fired back at NUP supporters who have been questioning why they performed at Mhozi Kanerugawa's birthday. <laughs> Muchi, you will not scare me. Subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Welcome to another round of stories trending in Uganda. Now, going to the details, uh, Douglas Luanga from NBS TV is not doing well. As we speak right now, he's admitted in the hospital, according to the video he posted on his WhatsApp status. Yes, that's the video. However, he did not communicate the sickness he's suffering from. Uh, it should be remembered that over the weekend, he had a very successful purple party in Mbale. Otherwise, quick recovery, Douglas. Hopefully, you get back on your feet very soon. Well, in other news, it has finally been confirmed that legendary Dr. Jose Chameleon is taking a music break, and this is going to be a three-month break. According to reports, Early next month, Dr. Jose Chameleon will jet out of the country to check on his family that is in the United States. I don't think we will miss him musically. I mean, he has served us enough music. So right now, all we can wish him is all the best as he prepares to check on his family in the US. Well, in other news, yesterday, a team of UPDF journals appeared before the Committee on Human Rights chaired by Fox Odoi. They were invited to respond to allegations of human rights violations in the country. Now, Felix Kulaije, the spokesperson of UPDF, says it's very unfortunate to see that everything in Uganda right now has turned political to an extent that a section of Ugandans are using Photoshop to taint security agencies. However, Members of parliament on the opposition like Dr. Hildeman are very disappointed in these big government officials because they know what they are doing behind cameras but they come out and pretend as if they are innocent. Never <laughs> Now, Afande Kulaije also said we don't have any safe houses in Uganda where people are tortured, but we have people masquerading as security officers and they are busy committing all sorts of crimes. So,
bayo gera ku nsonga zine za sevauses na ego kujyo buzino gamba we don't operate sevauses temumai yezili now, in Uganda right here, we have had a very big question that why do they arrest civilians affiliated to different political parties, especially NUP, and charge them in the military courts? But Kulaija says, as UPDF, they don't want to know about the political party you're coming from. As long as there is evidence that you had a military fatigue, you qualify to be charged in the military courts. <laughs> Fetulo woza, nte echo kusonge nolusi chivamu nebio mfuzi uwokuwe kubida. Fete tufunana wabia mfuzi. Totu ina mandi etiyo. Uwabula, buwaba uweli mbise milimu jefe. Uwabu ya ambi wa msirika lukula, wakumanya ya mateka. Dini uwesanga mkoti ya maje. Mchimanyi bulunji, ngabi baba vunana, tebidi na yo. Baba gambazo wabu kofida wapipa pawa, ni baba kuwa ebifana nyi, hati ni babi teka yo nti no. Nti baba mba debi ntubi ya maje. Ngate ne mu UPDF Act. Chira gibu waburu unji bichiebio, ebi amaje, nebi talibi amaje. Well, there you go. That is the spokesperson of Uganda People's Defense Forces, Afande Felix Kulaije. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but yeah, to get a muscle. <laughs> anyway, in other news, comedian Salvador has fired back at those who were questioning why he performed at Jeno Mohozi Kainerugawa's birthday. Now, Salvador says people should stop this stupidity of involving politics in the entertainment business. Nae olusi tujemwe chintu chobu siru mu business. Tujemwe chintu chobu siru. Nze emuke simu manyi. Era nange mumanyi nga nawe uo mumanyi. Simbu no chari wange ankubile simu tujetu bonge oba munonyi za kalulu. Bansa sula. Sente mpiti livu. Ngende nkube echivulu. Mbungane kubanga ogena kunyiga. Kubango roza mpagira MK. Nyiga. Nse charenga oyo bobi wang. Bobi wang ni chari wangi. Yampi tamu pirede mu. Muchi. Aba ina rimungate ba nyiga. Let us stop. Let us stop the stupidity of umutu umula. Kati wenaline sheki. Ba, ba, nafuka musidamu. Okuli ya moru kwe. Tuwa ina diru chi. Tuwa ina diru chi na awe. Okugamambo na kufude muru kwe. Now, Patrick Salvador's wife, that is Duffin, says they are not political at all, but they are looking for money to take care of their family. First, we're not political people. We are looking for money to take care of our children and our family. If that's, what, if that's how I'm going to make money, and for you think I, I am betraying you, I'm betraying you. Kati mucharenga ni antwara yo. Muena rema ni antwara yo. Bawu kudaba musevena ni antwara yo. No! You will not scare me. I made money on Saturday. I was paid by Tim Muhozi. I'm rich today. First we went and performed and were paid. While you guy yogi like social media, one of these boxers, remember that quote I was telling you about? Cowards hide behind their phones because they, they are scared to say these things first, face, to face. face to face. Once they say them face to face. Salvador Who are you first of all? What's the You can't explain. You can't explain. So we have been to be a politics to be very much. It was the center. We have come to enjoy ourselves, if and support our people, and we are enjoying. Period. We are not supporting our bantu bafe. To be a politics to be very cool. Well, there you go. That's comedian Salvador and his wife Daphne making it clear that politics in the entertainment industry will not stop them from looking for money, no matter how the public will take it. Those are some of the latest stories on the Buzz UG. Uh, in case you have any comments, just put it down in the comment section. And most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. I'm still gathering more stories for you. Make sure that you keep it right here on the Buzz UG. Thank you.